in this lecture we will try to understand why virtual machines and why containers with a normal example a non technical example in my next lecture we will go with technical example but this will give you a high level overview about virtual machines and containers let us start um i am a trainer and i deliver trainings in various cities in india so actually whenever i travel to another city i stay in a, a hotel or in a guest house provided to me but i feel that i am actually missing my home environment in a hotel right suppose if this is my house in my home i have lot of amenities i am missing those amenities i have my own maid for doing house chores and also i have my own cook and lot of other amenities when i go to a city and i stay in a hotel i feel like i am not in my home so i feel like if my home can be transferred from my hometown to the city and be installed somewhere then if i am inside my home i feel like i didn't travel even right i feel like i am at home i have all the amenities whatever i used to have at my home and also i'm getting all the services of my maid and also my cook etc so if my house can be uh, transferred normally for transferring from one location to other location we use something called as a shipping container so if my house can be shipped inside a container and transferred i'll be happy so nowadays if you see shipping container homes are common these are the shipping container homes these homes can be shipped inside a container to some other location these are becoming famous so if i can build my house in such a way that it can be shipped from one location to another location and can be installed it will be good right so not only shifting homes now if i need to get a same feeling as my original home my maids cooking and laundry whatever services i have in my original home i need those same facilities here also so they also needs to be uh, transferred okay fine so uh, we need something to be containerized so that i feel like i am living in my own home even though i am actually transferred to a different city fine now coming to a uh, technical world you have a machine and there is an operating system and uh, this operating system provides various services now if i can actually launch my program here my program which is running here can actually use the services provided by the operating system now if there is one more machine where i have a different os assume that you have ubuntu os here and here i have a red hat os now if i actually run my same program here again the environment in which my program is running is different it is running in a red hat environment so it is like i am in a hotel with a different kind of environment so what i want is i want my entire operating system and my program to be packaged so that i can launch the same environment somewhere else also so if you are uh, if you are knowing about virtualization you know that you can create a virtual machine first with an ubuntu os on top of it you can copy your application and you can create a virtual machine image 
once you have a virtual machine image this image contains the operating system as well as my application whatever my application requires suppose if my application requires java and uh, mysql database and whatever rabbitmq all are installed on this uh, machine and i have an image now if this image can be used to create a virtual machine instance do i get the same environment like same ubuntu os and here also i have java uh, mysql rabbitmq and my application is running here so my application will be running in the same environment as before so uh, we can use virtual machines so if i am using virtual machine I, it is like i am shipping my entire home in a container and installing it at other city right but now let us see the problem whenever you are shipping you are shipping uh, the entire operating system as well so whenever the application has to start the operating system also has to start so that it can provide us all the services required as well so it's like shipping the entire home okay now let me go back to here hey um i don't want my entire home to be shifted uh, i have my room in my home i have my uh, room where i work or wherever i sleep etc most of the times i spend here so instead of shipping the entire home what if i can actually only ship only my room into another home right suppose in a, a city there is a home already there is a house already in this house if i can actually uh, ship only one room and install that room here inside that house this house is already having a maid a cook and laundry service and all so i don't need to actually uh, transfer all my maids cook etc in this home already there are maids cook etc i just need to transfer only my uh, room so um don't you think that it is easy to transfer room than transferring the entire home and installing the home right so that is the idea now coming back to technical details uh, suppose if i have a machine in that um i have already i am already having a uh, os ubuntu os suppose now suppose if i can create some isolated process a process let's say process p1 it is totally isolated from some other uh, processes which are running in the same operating system so inside this process i can launch my application as a sub process or a child process so my application which is running as a child of p1 is isolated from other processes but my application can use the services of the underlying operating system and also if i can actually um create a separate network for this process a separate network for this process so the network of this process is isolated from the network of this process yes so i am achieving network isolation okay and also process isolation process p1 is isolated from other processes so i am achieving process isolation network isolation but all these processes 
are running on the same operating system okay and one more thing suppose if this process p1 is writing a file to slash logs slash a dot log for example if this process p2 also is writing files to same file then again there's a conflict right that means the file system seen by process p1 and the file system seen by process p2 should also be isolated suppose if i can actually achieve file system isolation also the files seen by this process are different than the files file system seen by this process p2 so if i can achieve all this isolation right but these two processes are sharing the same underlying operating system then to launch my application what i need i don't need to have the entire operating system launched just in case like virtual machines whenever you have a virtual machine image and if you want to launch your application you need to first uh, launch a virtual machine with this os the operating system has to be booted then only your application will start but here already a uh, machine is up operating system is running inside this i want to launch my process right so my application should be having process isolation network isolation file system isolation etc so once i have my application running like this if i can save the state of this process this is also a image now this image contains uh, all the files required by my application and also the environment required by my application so uh, once i have this image i can load the same image and can start another instance of this process easily on the same operating system without having to reboot this operating system without without having to boot this operating system yes so basically it is like having only my room shifted inside another home inside another city right only i am actually transferring my room but i am transferring my room into another house which is already having the maid cook whatever right so this is like uh, shifting my only room where i have all the underlying facilities which is much easier than transferring the entire home so here this is called as a container so i can actually create an image of this application which has all the required dependencies like if my application requires some files operating system utilities everything can be packaged inside an image we call this image as a container image once we have a container image we can launch that container image on any of the operating system suppose if i have a machine with some os like say ubuntu then what i can do on top of this ubuntu os i can actually load my container image and start a process i can actually load the same container image and i can start one more process so these two processes are running on the same os they are sharing the same underlying os so no need to boot the operating system whenever i want to start my process or whenever i want to start my application so i can say that uh, this is lightweight compared to virtual machines why because if i have to start a virtual machine instance i need the operating system to be booted first and then my application will be started but to start a container we don't need to start an operating system 
already operating system will be there we will just launch our application on top of the operating system but how can my application running here inside this container how can it achieve a uh, process isolation how can it achieve a file system isolation network isolation we will be discussing in detail in my next lecture okay so now understand that container uh, running a container is similar to running uh, application inside your vm the only difference is every virtual machine will have its own os but containers need not have the entire os they will share the underlying operating system so it is like uh, shifting only one room into another home in another city it is not like entire uh, home i am shifting so if you are shifting the entire home inside a inside a shipping container it is this is equivalent to a virtual machine a virtual machine should have its own operating system and all services right but shipping only one room in a home is like a container so for the container all the services are already provided by the underlying operating system it is easy to transfer a container and it is easy to start a container than starting a virtual machine so i hope you have got the basics of what is a container and what is a virtual machine don't worry we'll go deeper and we will see how to achieve these isolations how to actually start an application in my own container we will see in detail in my next lecture okay see you on next lecture